Well, many schools had a day off today in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Day, but class was in session at Brainerd Public Schools where teachers seized the educational opportunity. Becky Parker tells us how one third grade class applied King's message of respect to their own lives. Classrooms in Brainerd took some time for lessons on Martin Luther King Jr. to honor his birthday. You can tell me whose birthday it is today. Who's but Brian Stark's birthday? third grade class at Riverside Elementary started learning about King last week. I think it's real important that uh, the students continue to learn um, the importance of Martin Luther King Jr. and what he did for the people in our country and um, the blacks and whites both. The whites were all fine with everything, but they didn't want anything to change. But Martin was sad that they didn't want anything to change because he thought that everyone should be treated equally. As a little boy, he wasn't treated that fairly, and he won a Nobel P Peace Prize. The students had their own ideas about what they would do if they won the Nobel Peace Prize. I would donate the money to children's charity. I would give it away to the people who that who don't have money. People who don't have homes, clothes, food or water so they could have a nice warm home. I think it kind of came from the heart and they, they really wanted, wanted to do what was best for their community and for their families and um, you know not only here in the Brainerd area but in the state and the country and the world so it was great to see. Stark says some of the goals King worked toward tie in with lessons taught to Riverside Elementary students year round. Respect for others, nonviolence, and dignity are among those lessons. The students signed a pledge promising to live King's dream. By loving, not hating, showing understanding, not anger, making peace. Stark says taking some extra time for historical holiday lessons is a way to keep history alive. I think um, history is forgotten and I think that it needs to continue to be remembered and um, studied and taught here in the schools, uh, not only Martin Luther King Jr., but you know Veterans Day, for example. Becky Parker, Lakeland News. Martin Luther King Jr. Day was made a national holiday in 1983 and was first observed three years later.